We're Steph and Micah, and we bought this 2003 ambulance to turn into a camper van. But this week, everything seemed to go too slow and wrong. Just enough to make us wonder if buying an ambulance was a mistake. I just like don't want to do it today. <sighs> All of this and everything that's in there was in here. Today, we're going to the dump. Let's go. We're one minute away. It's all good. So Let's just go check. I've never done this, so this is like an adventure for me. <laughs> First, we pull up on the scale, you get weighed, your you total 60, amount, 6,100 pounds, and then we'll get weighed again. And then the difference is what we pay for. I'm just waiting my turn. The guy's gonna point at me and I'll back on up and then we'll unload everything and then we'll leave. <laughs> Fun, isn't it? It is. <laughs> now we gotta see how much it all weighs. You think it's gonna be? Uh, I'd say probably like 575. Oh, wow. Oh. 380. I think I heard it was $73. 3360. Oh, 1,220 pounds. Wow. Oh. Double that's, what I thought. And that's not even calculating the cables. Like not calculating the AC, which was probably another 50 pounds. The wire, another hundred pounds. Nice. Good day. Good day. What are you doing? You know what I'm doing. Nothing different today. <laughs> I actually got a new wheel. This is the third brand that I've tried and this is my favorite brand. So I'll link it in the description down below. <laughs> but for real, if you want a decal remover, I think this is the best one. So I'm hoping to get the decals done today because I've been doing it for like two months. Byron and I are wiring together. Lovely. Real emotion update. I'm tired. <laughs> I've been doing the decals for I don't even know how many days. I think that's like the first task, right? That I started. I just like don't want to do it today. And now I don't think that wheel is gonna be enough. So I feel like I'm gonna have to order another wheel. So I feel like I'm gonna do this next weekend again. <laughs> Mmm, drive me crazy! You guys like my uh, shoes? Those are big boxes. So this is our stove top. And then this is our fan! No, yeah, fan! <laughs> You're gonna carry both? Good boy, Byron, you didn't bark! So we're gonna do the fan. Maybe this week. Okay. I'm excited. You have so many mosquito bites. I can see it on your neck right there. It's Where? driving me crazy. Here. What's <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> have a mosquito on your ear. <gasps> ah! Oh my gosh. Ever since we started this build, there's been like thousands. There's one right there. They're everywhere. Yeah. Bug spray doesn't work very well either, just so you know. At this point, our frustration had caught up with us, and not just because of the mosquitoes. It just happens when you take on a large building project. There are high moments, and unfortunately, there are low moments. And this was a low one. In reality, a project like this brings out the emotions because it takes forever. Hello. Hey. I'm getting rid of this box. This potentially may hold our fresh water tank. Hey, Byron. Oh, thank you. So close. Just a second. Yes. 
Yeah. Guys, there's a bird. <laughs> Look at it. You see it? Yeah. This happened in the tiny house. It happened twice in the tiny house, and one bird like died because it like flew oh, in the window. Oh, oh, it went out this way. Yeah. <laughs> Martin's like, what is this excitement for? Yeah? I guess because I left this door open. Did you? When you went to Home Depot? Well, when I just. Oh. When I was in the house. Already just... spent the night here. No. Well, I hope not because that means there's a big hole that it got through. No. It's like, but there's I a doubt, big hole, yeah. I doubt. A huge hole. <laughs> yeah, I don't That's... know if I got enough gap filler for that. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? I just got back from Home Depot and I forgot something. So we're just gonna have to go back to the hardware store down the street. Hopefully they got what I'm looking for because Home Depot's a bit of a drive right now. So it's just one of those days where I've got multiple trips to the hardware store, so. Okay, it really is one of those days because the hardware store that I just went to did not have it even though it said that they had it online. It's a little bit frustrating. We're gonna make a day of it. We're going to a different Home Depot Just a little adventure. We're home. Woohoo! Now, tacos. <sighs> okay, we have eaten tacos. We have gotten what I was in search of. And we're ready to get started. Iron's being really good off leash. So we're gonna see how long he will stay around me while I'm working on this. So this is a test. So right now I'm doing a template for the fan to go in the roof. I don't know if I mentioned, but it's the Max Air Fan 7500 or something like that. And it goes both ways and you can open it when it's raining, so it's very nice. Hey. Hi, what's up? Hey, Byron. It's coming good. I think I finished all the wiring. Inside. Well, he ran away when I was on the phone, so that didn't last too long. All right, good boy, stay. Second try. Lay down. <clears throat> hey, that was even shorter. So I marked a center line on my template and a center line where I'm about to drill a hole. So I will drill this hole from the bottom, take this to the top, and then make sure it's square with the roof. So, yeah. People on Instagram Sick. keep on telling him he looks like Mario or Luigi. <laughs> Do you guys think so? Here we go. I kind of think so. It's -a me, Mario. Mario. Hot. <laughs> oh, daylight. Wow. Whoa. Oh, yeah, whoa. Oh. <laughs> Oh. What is that? Uh, that's for the old cell booster. Well, we can cut it out, right? Yeah. Have to. So I literally have to put it right there. Well, oh. <laughs> you can't reuse that. <laughs> Oops. Nice butt. No, I'm just gonna cut a little hole in my template so I can go around this. It's almost like it doesn't have to be perfect to be. You know the phrase, measure twice, cut once. Well, I've measured probably 10 times and I haven't even cut yet, so. It looks square. Measure again. This will look good. Okay. And it doesn't look straight because of the tape, so it's an optical illusion. <laughs> but I'm gonna do a combination of my drill, this jigsaw, and the angle grinder. And this thing is old. But it's working. And you have an overall so you can put all kinds of stuff in your pockets. I'll do I'll deal with the Mario comments, I don't care.
well. Ow! It's cold out, my nose is starting to run. Come out. Take two. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess I'm gonna put that fan in pretty quick. All right, we got our Max Air fan pretty much ready to go. Got our base all set, all the holes lined up. So we're just we're ready to go. We're going to add our butyl tape that we picked up earlier and set that in. After it's all done, we'll put some lap sealant all around them, make it look messy. You're kidding. Maybe I should use my own screws because the first one, the head broke off. First one. Looks good. Yeah. Was it hard? Uh, the cutting part was a little hard. But the actual install part is really easy. Yeah. So far. This is a one-time use self-leveling leveling sealant. So I'm just gonna use it all. I mean, you can just see how messy this stuff really is. It's, it's best to just, I've read, to cover all the screws, any gaps, just use it all. It's pretty good. Even though today was a little bit hard with trying to find the right things at the hardware store, it worked out. I'm glad I got that done and feels much more productive than I thought, so all good. But also, how satisfying is this? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, well, I think that's it for at least this day. So I'm just gonna call it going. See you on the next one. Assert your dominance and destroy it. Destroy it! Alright, Ren. What do you have there? Give that to me. Drop it. Drop it. <laughs>